Howdy cowboys and cowgirls, I'm Cowboy Jack and today I'm really excited. Do you guys see where we're at? Take a look up there. We're at We Rock the Spectrum Kids Gym in the Woodlands, Texas. Boy, it's going to be a whole lot of fun. There's a lot of activities for us to check out inside, but the more importantly, we're going to learn about our senses. You know, when people talk about senses, they always say we have five of them, but there's actually seven, and we're going to learn about all seven of those today. And we may even talk about an eighth one. You guys want to come inside and get started with me? Come on, it's going to be a lot of fun. <laughs> wow, let's get inside. We rock the spectrum. All right, wow, this place is ginormous inside. It's really cool. And I see all kinds of colors and I see a lot of activities for us to check out. Well, you know what? I can't wear my cowboy boots in here. It's a really fun, soft place to walk around. So I better take my cowboy boots off. I'm gonna sit down right here and do that. Here's one and here's an <laughs> that smell, we'll talk a little bit about that in a minute. Now that I've got my boots off, we can go explore. Let's go check it out. Whoa! Guys, come look at this. Come here. Now these are sensory tiles. When you step on them, all the colors move around. That's really neat. There's colorful dye inside a layer of thin plastic, so when you step on it, that dye moves around. And you can stand on these and walk all around and make all sorts of different colors move. Wow! Hey, this one's blue. That's Cowboy Caden's favorite color. That's really cool. All right, wow. Those tiles were really fun. But let's go take a look at what senses we're gonna be learning about today. Come right over here. Look. This says, play with a purpose. What are the seven senses like I talked about? It's not just five senses, there's actually seven of them. So the first one we're gonna talk about today is sight. That's using our eyes to see. And then there's smell, of course. We talked about that with my cowboy boot. You can smell with your nose. Those are called olfactory senses. That's a big word. You wanna say it five times fast? Olfactory, 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 olfactory. Wow, all right. And then of course there's taste. That's using our tongue to taste foods and different things. Boy, it's really fun to try new foods. And then of course there's hearing. That's using our ears to take stimulus from our outside environment and comprehend what's going on. Of course there's touch. That's using our hands and fingers. And not just our hands and fingers. You can touch with a lot of different things. Our vestibular system. That's how our body reacts to gravity and balance and things like that. And then proprioception, that's activity through push and pull activities. It's our body's ability to sense the position of our body in, in relation to other things. Wow, that's really cool. So let's get started. Well, right now let's use our sight. You guys wanna look around here with me with your eyes and learn about how we can see things? Boy, I see a lot of colorful colors. Look at this. See, my eyes are showing me that this swing is spinning. You know what else? There's a room right over here that has all kinds of really cool lights. You guys wanna go check it out? Look at this. Wow, this table's really cool. It's changing colors and I can tell that with my eye. Oh, look, here's a diagram of our solar system right here. Of course, we know about the planets. We live on this big one right here called Earth. But there's the Sun, Mercury, Venus, Mars, Earth. I didn't do that in the right order. <laughs> there's the Sun, Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars. Uh, what's the next one? S Jupiter, Saturn, Neptune, Uranus. Wow, those are the planets. Wow, guys, and see, we use our eyes to take in visual stimulus from the environment. Like we were looking at that table, make different colors, and we look out here and we can see all these different colors and different surfaces and textures through sight. That's really cool. All right, well, let's keep exploring. Come on. Let's go all over and look around. There's so much to see with our eyes, but our next sense is smell. Wait a second, what are my boots doing over here? Well, you know what? Even though my boots are not where they're supposed to be, we can use these to talk about something. Smell. Mm. 
Nope. <laughs> the inside of shoes can be kind of stinky and we use our nose to smell that. So what it is, our, our nose is an olfactory factory full of all these receptors that take input from the outside environment, like my stinky feet from inside my shoe, and we can smell that by using our nose. There's all kinds of smells. You know, when you're eating food, you can smell different foods, like fruit, or even like a good piece of meat, or a sandwich, or a snack. You can smell all those things. All right, well, let's keep exploring. I saw they have a little kitchen over here. You guys wanna go check out that kitchen with me? Come on. Wow, right over here, there's a whole grocery store. Wow, take a look at this. Now this is watermelon. You know what, even though watermelon is a really wet fruit, you can smell watermelon. It has a very distinct smell and that's using our nose. So our nose is an olfactory factory, <laughs> like we talked about. We use that, our nose will put these inputs from the outside environment to where we can actually smell and even sometimes kind of taste what what things are. So before you took a bite of this watermelon, you'd have an idea of what it is because of the great smell that it puts off. Let's keep looking around here. It smells like cookies in here. Do you guys smell cookies? I think my olfactory senses are kicking off because I smell fresh baked cookie. Well, here's a pizza. No, look at this. Wow. Here's some fresh baked cookies right out of the oven. That's really neat. There is no smell like fresh baked cookies. I really enjoy that smell. And you know, you can smell it from a mile away. Everybody smells that. You might be outside playing and smell. Wait a second, are there cookies around? Let's go check it out. <laughs> and of course you could smell a pizza baking in the oven too. Let me see this pizza here. Wow, guys, look at this pizza fresh out of the oven. And we're using our eyes to see what exactly is on it. I see mushrooms, peppers, and olives, and even some pepperoni. Wow, that's really cool. All right, I don't think this pizza is quite done yet. I better put it back in the oven. But that was really great, so we learned about our sense of smell there. And of course, you know what? One of our other key senses is, of course, our sense of taste. Things like this orange juice here has a very distinct taste. And when you put it in your mouth, your tongue goes to work and lets you know what that taste is. It's really cool. Wait a second. Guys, they have ice cream in the freezer. Ice cream doesn't always have a smell, but it always has a taste and it tastes really, really good. So if you were to lick this, you would know this tastes just like strawberry. And this one would taste just like Cowboy Caden's favorite, homemade vanilla. <laughs> All right, wow, this kitchen is great. They even have salt and pepper here. So if you needed to change the flavor of your food, you could add a little bit of salt or a little bit of pepper. And you know what else about pepper? Sometimes if you smell pepper too closely, ha <laughs> All right, well, let's keep exploring. Well, I saw something really cool over here. Come on. Do you guys know what this is? This is a zip line. That's really cool. So you would jump on this. Cowboy Jack's a little bit big for it, but you would wrap your legs right here and hang on this and zip up and down this line. But do y'all hear that? That funny noise it's making? Yeah, we're using our sense of hearing so that we can hear the noise of this zip line. I bet if I zipped it all the way up there, you could hear it really loud. Let's walk up on that platform. There's a whole platform for this zip line. Well, look, more sensory tiles. Wow, hey, do you guys hear that? That's using our hearing. So I'm standing on this platform and it doesn't have solid ground be below it because it is a platform built up off of the ground. So when you step on it, it makes a really funny noise. Wow. Well, since I'm up here, I better send the zip line all the way down to the other side. Wow. And see right there, we got to use our eyes to see, our ears to hear, our hands to feel. Boy, that was really cool. I found something else to help demonstrate our hearing abilities. They have a piano that you step on and it makes different sounds. And I'm no great piano player, but I'm gonna give it a try. You think I could play a song? Hmm, 
I don't think I'm any Mozart, but that was a really fun time trying to learn how to play that one. <laughs> Whoa, hey, you guys caught me snapping in this swing. Well, this is actually a hammock and it's really comfortable. I look a little bit scrunched up because I am a little bit scrunched up, but this has a very unique feel to it. All right, so see, being in this hammock like this, we're using our vestibular system. It's helping me sense my balance and I'm also using touch because I'm touching not only with my hands, but with my body. We're having this hammock touch me all over my legs, my back, my arms, whoa. And see, I'm using the vestibular system because I'm staying balanced. This is a whole lot of fun. And I'm even swinging back and forth. I'm feeling the center of gravity and the motion of the, uh, trying to stay balanced in this swing. Whoa, it's a whole lot of fun. It's actually really relaxing. That's how I fell asleep in it a minute ago. Let me get out of here. Whoa. Are you guys laughing at me? <laughs> All right. Come on, Hammock, let me up. Whew. I made it out alive. Thank goodness, wow. Let's go check our board again and see what senses we've talked about so far. So we've talked about our sense of sight, like when we were looking at these lights right in this room. Our sense of smell from when we smelled my boot and when we smelled the food in that kitchen. And then of course we talked about taste when we were looking at that delicious pizza as well as that ice cream. Boy, it tastes good. Our hearing, when we were over on the zip line and that platform when we stomped our feet. Our touch, when we were over in the hammock, everything we were touching. And the vestibular system, that's how our body reacts to gravity. We were talking about that when I was swinging in that hammock. Not only that, but I'm still using it right now because I can feel that I'm standing upright and that I'm not spinning or anything like that. That means we have one sense left, our proprioception sense. And that's activated through push and pull activities. It's our body ability to sense the position of our body in relation to one another. So let's go take a look at that. Whoa, look at this inner tube, that's really cool. <laughs> now this is used as a swing in here, but you know, sometimes we use these inner tubes to float down the river. Us Texans love to float down rivers. So you would turn it up like this, jump in there with your bathing suit on and float on down the river. And when you were doing that, you'd be taking in a lot of your senses. There would of course be feel. You'd be feeling how cold the Guadalupe River is. You'd be smelling the smells of the water and all the plants around you. You'd be using your eyes to see the water moving around you and all of your friends hanging out around you. It'd be a whole lot of fun. So our proprioception sense, AKA prope, we're just gonna call it prope for short because that's a big word. It means how our body senses where we are in relation to other things. So like if you, if I was to close my eyes and hold my arms out, I can tell where my arms are because of my probe sense. I know my arms are right out to the side and my hands are attached and they're moving around. You can get a whole lot of that kind of sense if you were jumping on a trampoline and bouncing all around because you've got to know where your body is even when you're bouncing and moving the whole time. It's a really important sense. So another example of our probe sense is like sitting on a bouncy ball. Wow, there's a lot of these colorful big bouncy balls. And because I'm using my eyes, my sense of sight, I know this color is orange, which Cowboy Caden would tell you is Cowboy Jack's favorite color. Wow. But see, I'm using my probe senses and I'm bouncing, but I always feel where my body is. I can sense exactly where I'm at. It's really cool. These bouncy balls are really fun. I don't think they're made for Cowboy Jack. I don't want to bounce too hard. I might pop it. <laughs> but there's all kinds of really colorful big bouncy balls in here. Let me try something. I know I really like to juggle. You guys think I could juggle these gigantic balls? Only one way to find out. You ready? One, two, three. Wow. Oh no, I lost one of my juggling balls up on top of the monkey bars. Whoop. <laughs> Knocked my cowboy hat. Hey, wait a second, are you guys laughing at my hair again? I just got a haircut. It should be looking pretty good thanks to the folks at Vinny's. Well, I'll put my cowboy hat back on. Stop laughing at my hair. <laughs> So it turns out I can't juggle these big balls, but they're still really fun to play with. I'm using my sense of uh, sight, see where it's at. 
I can feel it. It feels really rubbery and bouncy. And of course I can hear it when it bounces. It makes that really cool noise. I think I need to show you guys an experiment I used to do when I was a little boy. Ready? When I drop these, the upper ball is gonna bounce really far. Whoa! That was a whole lot of fun. All right, let's go see what else there is. Boy, this is a really cool climbing wall. I don't think it's Cowboy Jack size, but if you were to come, you could climb all over this thing. Excuse me, I had to get some work done in my workshop here. They have all these really cool wood toys that you can come and play with. And you can screw things into these. Look, here's a screwdriver. You could use this to get that down into the wood. Boy, that's really fun. But you know what's important? Whenever we use a tool, we make sure we put it back up. So now that I'm done sawing and using the screwdriver, I'll drive them back in their appropriate spots because it's good to clean up after yourself. Have you guys ever played with slime? I know we've played with slime a few times on the show, but it never gets old. It's really fun stuff. And we use our sense of touch and our sense of sight and even our sense of smell. Let's go check it out. Come on. Whoa. Now this is a Cowboy Cadence sized table. Let's see if Cowboy Jack can sit down at it. All right, guys, come here, check this out. Do you know what this is? This is actually shaving cream and it's got all these sparkly things in it. We can use our hands to touch them. Whoa, <laughs> look at that, it's swirling all around. This is a really fun activity to explore your sense of touch and your sense of smell, because shaving cream has a very distinct smell. And you know what? Make sure our parents stay happy. It's in this single tray, so that it doesn't get a huge mess all over the place. That's really fun. Whoa. Look at that shaving cream, and I can feel it all the way over my hands. When you talk about feeling like your sense of touch, it's not limited to just your fingertips or your hands. You can feel with your palm, with the back of your hand, all sorts of, any skin that you have can have a sense of touch. My whole hand is covered in this shaving cream. You know what? When we first started mixing this around, I saw a button. I wonder if we could use our sense of touch to find that button again. Let's see. Is that it? Yep, there it is. See, I used my fingers and my sense of touch to find that blue button in the shaving cream. That was a whole lot of fun. Well, now I didn't plan on how I was gonna get this shaving cream off of my hands. Let's see here. Sometimes you get such a big mess, it's best to just go to the sink and wash. Whew. <laughs> wow. Hey, I found another button. There's another one. And I feel something else here. What is that? A pink leaf? That is so cool. Hey, I got all that shaving cream off of my hands. That was really cool. But I wanna play with this slime. Look what I found here. Look at this grabber. So I'm gonna pick up the shaving cream. Whoop, come on grabber. There we go. <laughs> that was really cool. Tip my hat to you with the grabber. All right, well, let's keep exploring our sense of feel, our sense of touch. This slime, ooh, it's really cold because it's been in the refrigerator, but it's still, whoops, drop some slime. <laughs> That's really cool. And you know what else? This slime even has a sound. Hear it, it plops down on that tray. Boy, this is really cool multicolored slime because it looks like there's some dark green and some light green. And I know that because I'm using my eyes and my sense of sight. That's really, really cool. Wow, look, they even have a climbing wall here. Cowboy Jack's pretty tall. We talk about this a lot. I'm about six feet tall. This climbing wall isn't meant for Cowboy Jack size folks. Boy, this mat I'm stepping on is really unique. It feels like there's some foam blocks inside of a bag and I'm feeling that with my toes. <laughs> Anyways, you could climb all up this and you would be using a lot of your senses because you'd be feeling these with your hands. You'd be using your balance and your sight and of course your uh, prop senses to tell your body where, you're, where exactly you are. <laughs> hey, look at this swing. 
Whoa, that's really cool. And it's, I'm feeling my balance using my prop senses, my vestibular system. I can feel the breeze moving around on me while I'm swinging. That's a whole lot of fun. Whoa. There's all kinds of swings in here. This swing even bounces. Whoa. Hey, you know what? We didn't talk about our eighth sense. We talked about seven of them. But there's actually an eighth sense that's not on the chart that's real important. You know what it is? Being nice to each other. A lot of times you can tell when somebody's not having a great day and what you can do to make their day even better is just walk up to them and say, hey, I love your shirt today. Or hey, I love your smile. Hey, you look great today. That would make your mommy or daddy, or your parents, your teachers, or even your friends at school really, really happy. So remember the eighth sense of kindness. <laughs> All right, cowboys and cowgirls, let's do a quick recap on our senses because we've learned a lot today. All right, well, first we've got our sense of sight. That's using our eyes to see. Our sense of smell, using our noses, the olfactory factories to smell things. Our sense of taste, using our tongues, we can taste food and different things. Using our sense of hearing, that's using our ears to listen and hear things from the outside environment. Our sense of touch, our hands, our skin, everything. We can feel everything by our sense of touch. Our vestibular system, that's how our body reacts to gravity and we talked a lot about that, especially when I was on that swing just a second ago. I was using my vestibular system to feel exactly where I was in space. <laughs> our prop senses, that's our body's ability to sense where we are. So like I said, if we close our eyes and hold our arms out, I know where my arms are at. And then of course, the one that's not on the list, our eighth sense, the sense of kindness. Always remember to be kind to each other and give each other random compliments throughout the day. It makes everybody feel so good. All right, well, I'm glad you had fun with us today. Thanks for joining us. Parents, make sure you're following Cowboy Jack on Facebook, Instagram, and of course, if you needed a custom shout out, you could hit up Cowboy Jack on Cameo or Patreon. It's a whole lot of fun and it helps support the show and continue to grow. Anyways, like we always say, until next time, yee -haw!